Hello, Leo. Welcome to a love reading all about what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation, and leave the rest. And let's just jump right, right in <laughs> for Leo Spirit. What can you tell us for Leos in love? What can you tell us? For Leo's in love. What does Leo need to know regarding the person they are connecting with at this time? What does Leo need to know? So we're going to start with what's going on in your connection between each other. Spirit, angels, guides. Tell me about Leo's connection. What's going on in this connection? between Leo and their person. Ten of Swords reverse. What's going on in this connection between Leo and their person? Oh, I got three. All right, Three of Wands, Queen of Pentacles reverse. So with the Ten of Swords reverse, I feel like there was already some sort of ending here or something that perhaps is maybe happening right now or on the on its way um because the ten of swords reverse could be someone trying to avoid a difficult ending but it could also be someone overcoming a difficult ending i have to clarify and see i have the three of wands so someone's kind of like waiting expectantly here waiting for something to arrive or for a certain result and the queen of pentacles reverse to me is a card about a person who is not the best partner they are dependent on others um they don't really give or they can't give so let's see what this is all about tell me about the ten of swords reverse why is the ten of swords reverse why is the ten of swords reverse three of cups Why is the Ten of Swords reverse? What do we need to know? Ten of Cups reverse. Eight of Cups reverse. Okay, so so far what I'm getting here, and then there's the Tower reverse. So this is very interesting with a double reverse after that Capricorn energy. I don't know what happened here, but it wasn't fun. It wasn't good. It could have even have been because of another person. Now with the Eight of Cups reverse, I don't know, I still get the, I still am not clear if this is someone who is trying to avoid this, you know, avoiding it, trying to prevent a tower, trying to prevent an ending, trying to prevent someone leaving. Because I see that still. And I think it's because of something that has happened. I mean, maybe somebody wants to reunite with this Three of Cups, but I have a feeling that this could be a third person. Why is the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here, Spirit? Why is the Three of Cups here? Judgment reverse, yeah. I feel like this was someone made a huge mistake here. Someone made a huge mistake. And I feel like they're trying to avoid the consequences or delay the consequences here is what I'm seeing. Um, especially because I also have the Three of Wands here. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Why are why is the three of wands here? Page of Cups reverse. Why is the three of wands here? Nine of Cups reverse. Yikes. Leo, what is going on here? Six of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel like this is someone that's hoping that if they just have a little bit more time, um, they can fix this or bring back balance. Um they made the wrong choice. This person screwed up bad. I feel like with the Nine of Cups reverse, Seven of Cups reverse, the choice they made cost them something. And it's almost like they think, if I just have a little bit more time, if I can just stall a little bit, or if I just wait for the right time, I can fix this with Leo. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Oops. Yeah, there's the tower again, reverse, the devil reverse, five of wands reverse, yeah. 
I can overcome this conflict. I can avoid the tower that has come because of a bad decision. This is what I'm getting. Okay, can I get some information on this Queen of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Queen of Pentacles reverse? The Devil reverse? Why is the Queen of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Queen of Pentacles reverse? Wow, Queen of Swords reverse. I think this could be you, Leo, in a way. I feel like you are very upset or just not happy with this person. No, this is your person's, um, sorry. Let me, I, I, the full reverse is telling me that someone screwed up bad. They made the wrong decision. They made the wrong decision and I feel like they're trying to either do damage control or avoid the fallout. Um, five of cups at the bottom of the deck here. So yeah, I feel like this is someone that's regretful. We'll see more when I um, look at both of your energies, but I feel like someone made a huge mistake and this has been an ongoing reading or like message for Leos. Um, and it's, it's like someone really hurt you bad or messed up bad and they're regretful or just, and this has been going on for a while but it keeps coming up, which tells me the situation is still unfolding or it's still happening. There's no resolution. It's still the same story. And that's because nothing has changed. I feel like this is someone that just cannot let go of you, Leo, or cannot stand to deal with the consequences of their own decision making. They're not, they're not, it's like they don't want to accept that this is over or that they don't want to accept that this is the consequence for what happened it's almost like they're hoping that they could change that consequence to be less terrible they could even be trying to like deceive you here in a way because i have the queen of swords reverse with the devil reverse um, but really what I'm getting here is I'm getting that maybe you've cut off communication with this person. Maybe you don't want to hear from this person. You stopped giving to this connection perhaps. So let's see um, how you're feeling about each other. What's going on between you? I'm going to have you on one side and your person on the other, Leo. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Can I get some insight into Leo and this other person? What do we need to know about Leo and this other person's spirit? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about their energies? Tell me about Leo's energies in this connection. Tell me about Leo and their energies in this connection. Leo's energies in this connection. Bountiful harvest and restoring balance. Okay. Tell me about Leo's person's energies. The person that Leo is dealing with. What are their energies? What are their energies towards this connection towards Leo? Lasting promise and time out. Divine timing at the bottom of the deck. This is interesting. Now with Bountiful Harvest, this is a card about growth, abundance, patience, and restoring balance. I feel like this is you, Leo, trying to do things right for yourself. Maybe you're focusing on yourself, focusing on your business, your finances, focusing on just having peace in your life and maybe investing in different things. But I feel also when you think about this person, what I'm getting very strongly is that you tried all kinds of things. I think you put a lot into this connection maybe to try to fix it. Now, this lasting promise timeout, I feel like this person feels like they're running out of time. Um, like they, they need to come to you maybe with a long-term commitment or with, you know, this, you know, promise of commitment or promise of something long lasting. We'll see. And they feel like time is against them, this person. Can you get some more insight, please? Tell me more about Leo. Oops. I still check up on you. Tell me about Leo's person. 
What do we need to know about Leo's person? You are my soulmate. Tell me one more for Leo. What do we need to know about Leo's energies? Oh my God, these are like falling out. I don't have the courage. Okay, tell me about Leo's person. Tell me about Leo's person. I can't let you go and I wasn't ready. Yeah, I feel like this person can't let you go. Like I'm, I am picking that up. In the bottom of the deck, I can't let you go again. Like this person's really, I, I, I felt that before, that this person is like thinking that they're running out of time. They're going to lose their soulmate. You know, they weren't ready for what they had when they had it, perhaps, here. Now, I don't have the courage, and I still check up on you. I think this is what you already know about your person. I think this is, this is like energy here of you already knowing what this person's doing. Um, because I don't think that this is you that doesn't have the courage. And they, you had a reading recently, too, where I think that was the... That was like the message that like did that message came up that they don't have the courage to face you i think that was leo so let's see let's see let's find out more about your energies how you feel about each other tell me more for leo tell me more for leo four of wands Four of Swords and Page of Cups. Yeah, so again, you know, I you know what I'm thinking here, Leo? I'm starting to think that all of this is so is, is regarding your person. I feel this person could have already told you this, could have already apologized to you, could have already tried to heal things with you. I think you already know this person's intentions and feelings. I think the issue here is that you don't know what to do about that. I think you're thinking, I want peace, I want harmony, I don't want any more drama, I don't want to have to worry about anything anymore, like I'm tired. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here? Yeah, tell me about the Page of Cups. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? Temperance, yeah. Sagittarius energy. And then there's Death reversed again. It's like, this isn't fully over yet. This whole situation isn't really fully over yet. Scorpio energy here with Death. Now, when I look at this, I see the Four of Wands and then I see the Hangman reverse. And I feel like this person in some way I don't know why, it could be for many different reasons. I think that you're not able to see the situation as you did before. Maybe they're convincing you of, you know, trying again or fixing things. Maybe they're changing your mind slowly. Um, or perhaps you don't have the clarity to see things as clearly as before. Maybe there's more to the story than you initially thought or something like that. However, I feel like you're doing a lot of thinking about this, but I don't think you're really communicating with your person. And I'm not sure why. I think this is probably something you're thinking to yourself or dealing with yourself. Or maybe you block this person and are trying to get some space to think or something like that. Um, but I feel like you're doing a lot of thinking about this. Perhaps you're even thinking about how you've been deceived before. Can you trust this person? I feel a lot of different energies here. But I think that this person with the Page of Cups and Temperance, I think they've already tried to talk to you about this. Or at least mentioned working on things. Maybe intuitively you know that this is what your person wants. To restore the balance. To not have things end. Tell me about the person Leo is dealing with. Tell me about the person Leo is dealing with. What do we need to know about this person that Leo is dealing with? Queen of Wands reverse, yikes. Tell me about this person that Leo is dealing with. 
two of cups. Yeah, I think you're very upset with this person. Tell me about this person that Leo is dealing with. But they think you're their soulmate. They think you are their person. Ten of Wands. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, they want a new beginning. They want to drop this burden and start over. But I think that you're not in the same, you're not on the same page with this person. Tell me about the Queen of Wands reverse. Nice, the Queen of Wands reverse. The Emperor reverse. Yep, Aries energy. This is somebody I feel like doesn't have the courage to do what they need to do. Maybe they don't have power over the situation. They don't have control over the situation. Because I think this is more up to you, Leo. The Hermit reverse. Yeah, this person, Virgo energy... They weren't, yeah, there's a seven of cups. I was just going to say, they weren't listening to their intuition. They weren't thinking things through. They weren't really paying attention. They were kind of, I feel, ignoring a lot of the major problems here. I feel like this is someone that ran away from the problem rather than addressed it. I feel like this was someone that escaped when the going got tough or something like that. And I feel like it cost them. Because I don't think you want anything to do with this person, or I think you find it very hard to trust this person. I think if you and this person were to start a connection over again, it wouldn't really be different, you know? Because I feel like this person still is not there yet. I wasn't ready, you're still not ready, I don't feel. Maybe this person is in a commitment of some sort, and they promised you they would get out of it, and they haven't, and you were like, no, time's running out. I'm not going to be doing this anymore. Um, or perhaps this person promised you commitment, uh, told you they would be true to you, and that didn't happen. And I feel like now they realize that time is running out for them, that you're serious. Tell me about this Ten of Wands. Six of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you've already like either left or thinking about leaving, or they know this. Strength, yep, Leo energy. I feel like this is you. I think that a lot of you said, I'm not going to do this anymore. And this person believes you, you know, maybe you've already put in some steps to leave the situation. Maybe you've already left the situation, Leo. Maybe you're just over it. I think this person, if they are needing courage, maybe they're gaining courage now. Six of cups. Yeah, this is soulmate energy here. I see, I see many messages. That's why I'm thinking that there's multiple Leos that I'm reading for here. Like maybe two major groups. Because I feel like maybe this person was in a long-term commitment and told you they would leave and they didn't. And maybe now is when they're finally taking the fact that you're done with it seriously. I hope that makes sense. Um, maybe they're trying to gain courage to leave a situation behind that they should have left a long time ago. But I feel like time is running out. And this is like out of their, like they don't have the situation under control. Whoever this is. And, you know, strength and the emperor reverse. Strength is a card about, you know, controlling a situation, bringing a situation into control without using force. So to me, they're very like different energies. But they both could be very brave. So the fact that the emperor reverse is reverse and the strength card is upright it tells me that you're this strength card and they're this emperor and you're not on the same page. So let's see what else we can get about this person. Any insight, guidance, spirit that we can get about Leo's person? Any insight, guidance that we can get? Energies of Leo's person. Any insight about Leo's person? Finding out the truth crushed me. I am afraid to contact you. Um, I feel like this person deceived you. And I think the truth that this person is being crushed by is the truth that you're really done. Or they really messed this up. I think honestly it's like they're kind of in denial in a way. Or they don't want to believe that this is the state of things. And I, that's how it kind of felt for the beginning of this reading anyway. That it was like, they didn't really want to face the consequences because the consequences are too painful. Can I get one more, um, some more information 
about Leo's person? What do we need to know about Leo's person, Spirit? Mysterious, enigmatic, and mystifying. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Honestly, I feel like this, this person has no idea, and I have under here, successful, accomplished, and stable. I think this person's already in a commitment or it has financial ties to someone. But what I see here with the fire sign energy and mysterious, it's almost like this person has no idea or doesn't truly understand you. Um, I feel like they don't know what to do either. Like this is someone that when it comes time to take action, when it comes time to like, you know, do what they want to do, when it comes time to take, you know, some sort of initiative, it's almost like there's they don't really know what's going on. I'm getting like moon energy here. They don't really know what, what to expect from that or how it's going to end up. But more than anything, I feel like this person doesn't truly get it. Like they don't truly get why you are the way you are now, which is telling me once again, this person, they're not ready. Like they don't under, if someone doesn't understand why you know a person okay so let's say this person really hurt you leo and you said you know what i'm done with you and they don't get that they got issues you know maybe what they don't understand is why we can't fix this why can't we work on this why can't we make this happen right maybe they're a little bit confused as to why you're completely done with them this is a very specific reading, so it won't resonate for everyone, Leo. So do not try to make this fit if it's not your story. Um, check out my description box because I have the playlist for every sign. So you can check out your other placements if this doesn't resonate. But I feel strongly that this is a very specific reading. I think this is a reading where you are very doubtful or debating amongst yourself if you should even give this person the, the time of day. Because what they've done is difficult it was a betrayal it was a tower kind of situation and this person doesn't want to let you go they don't want to lose you but at the same time i don't think they can deal with the fact that you know actions have consequences and you can't just put a band-aid over things you can't just gloss over things and i think that's kind of what this person's doing you know maybe they took too long to make a decision and that was all that you needed to know 